Hi everybody, I hope you're all okay and that you're staying in alignment as much as you can and you're doing that valuable work of letting go of what is no longer serving. Yeah, so I've come in and I'm coming to Anna Starts Cards and I'm just asking the angels for some guidance. We're going through so many shifts at this time and the angels show me that moving from the third dimension which is very dense and very uh, separate and critical, judgmental, very dense energy. So as we start to wake up in this third dimension and then we're not happy there, we start to wake up to our soul calling and, and we start to realise that we are our own creator, so the, the more we look at something, the more it, it, it's going to expand, the, the more energy we give it, that we're going to manifest it. So we start to wake up and understand this through, through our guidance, through our soul guidance. So we start to think in positive statements and um, positive affirmations, then we start to you know work on our emotions and our triggers and as we start letting all that go and and we start to move up into the fourth dimension so the fourth dimension is um a place where we start to detangle ourselves so everything that we have been um attached to that's drained us and that no longer serves us we start to cut the cords of those attachments and calling an Archangel Michael and his legions of angels to help us to cut those cords and and as we're moving up into the higher frequencies we start to you know we're, we're light workers we're truth seekers so we start to ask to be shown the truth and that illusion will shatter everything that we have been led to believe as true we see that it's co the complete opposite and so as these veils of illusion start to drop it's how we deal with those truths that we're being shown so if we go into anger and fear and anxiety we're going to take our way in. that's a third dimensional programming so we, we we sort of scramble when we're going through the fourth dimension of dipping back down into the, the third having a wake up call of i've done this before uh, and then bringing ourselves back into alignment and con and constantly taking that the steps in alignment to take us in in into higher frequencies and dimensions so the fourth dimension everything that starts to show itself to us and we've got a reaction to i don't want that i'm, I'm not happy with that I, that person from the lightest of the light to the darkest of the dark and everything in between we put on a judgment so going through the fourth dimension shows us where we are actually separate because in the fifth dimension there is only oneness there is no separation and that's not that we all mold into one we all we all accept ourselves and each other and whatever is going on in anybody else's life no matter what they are doing that is their relationship to god you, you know that's their but that that is up to them and if i start making it my business then i get entangled in that karma so when we come back and we know that this is our soul journey, I am only responsible for myself. Everybody is only responsible for themselves. So as we start moving and allowing that third dimension to crumble because that's what's actually happening, the third dimension is that the, the structure, everything is crumbling. So all these emotions and emotion and attachments that we we may have they are not serving us well as they start to surface 
we'll start to know that this is an old pattern, it needs to go and allow it to crumble away. It's so simple, it, we don't have to do anything hard, all it takes is staying in this moment, feeling what you're feeling and then visualise or feeling it however you, 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 whatever your gift is, whether it's visual feeling and sensing or whatever, visualise those third dimension matrix falling away like just crumbling away like dust like um like sand because and as we focus on that we realign and take ourselves up to that vision that we have that is for not just ourselves but for the whole planet and the whole universe to live in in love and and light and so when we and abundance and so when we start to focus on that and anything that comes up it while we're traveling through the fourth dimension anything that might you know watch our thoughts because you know they can be rampant at times so when you take them back and, and know that wow where was I just then what was that serving me how I was thinking how am I feeling now after having those thoughts if I'm feeling uplifted they're nourishing thoughts, nourishing and, and healing thoughts. If I'm focusing on fear, then I am I've, I'm flooding my body with toxicity that's not going to solve anybody's problems, my problems or any, uh, uh, anything. So when we bring it back and know that every single person has their own relationship to God, and that's their business and at the end of the day of day of judgment we all have to stand there and and be judged and and so that is about letting go and knowing that everything is in divine order there is um a beautiful energy entering the planet and and today is the healing moon so tomorrow is the full moon for the first full moon of the year and we have jupiter again and capricorn and we're moving into aquarius but jupiter always brings luck and always brings optimism so it, and jupiter with Cap capricorn reminds us you know that it's about having st some kind of structure and because Capcom puts everything on our path, it's only when we start to think we can't do it and we, we, we become um, self-critical, that's when the karmic, um, the karma starts to sort of increase because then we block ourselves from new opportunities coming in. So we're going through this time of traveling from here to our hearts and it's honestly the longest journey um, that we can ever ever embark on and once we we all sit there in our hearts and we use our minds for beautiful creations and and help you know um, whatever gifts you've got whether it's you're an artist a writer using our, our brains for those beautiful creative ideas and then not becoming a slave to when it's unhappy because that is our choice every single thought is a choice so when we realize that taking the steering wheel of our own lives now when, as we move through these frequencies and up and realize that if we're seeing one person as bad and one person as good we've gone into duality it's that's the the relationship to god i am i'm not attaching anything because i i don't know what karma that's going on there or so it's none of my business and everything on that world stage is an illusion the only thing that is real is this moment in time, wherever you are, however you're feeling in this moment in time, that is real. Don't be letting your mind go everywhere. 
I'm focusing on, you know, what could happen, what might happen, or pointless. You wasted vital life force. So I'm asking, and I'm coming to Anna Stark's cards to just see what message. And, and it's exactly what we've been talking about. This is clear and activate. So as we clear these old patterns, allowing them to dissolve as we're traveling through this, it is like a birthing canal. We're all moving through this birthing canal and birthing into a new world. So when we come into resistance, it's like a contraction. We get all, we, we, we stuck. So when we just visualize it, just falling away from us, focusing on the vision, the happy happiness, the whatever uplifts your energy, focusing on that and focusing on that. And even if we can't get that to that point of feeling upliftment, just going back into peace and taking a deep breath, calling your angels in, calling your guides in, asking for some for some clarity and you will get it. The angels, the galactic masters of light, when we're in alignment to them and when we're in alignment to them, we're in a, we're in a state and a vibration of love and they plug into, it's almost like they plug into us and then start sending that healing to every, every our clients and everyone who needs it, that they will, bring it through into our family, in, 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 into our own bodies. When we're worrying, it's like saying, I don't trust you. I don't trust you, I trust my head because it's not happening like my head says and thinks it should be. You've got it, God, <laughs> the angels, you've got it all wrong. When it's no, this is the illusion. We're moving from there, settling into our hearts. And when we start thinking with our heart, we will only think, love and you in a you, uh, atlantis and you know lemuria that we only spoke language of light we only spoke words of love we, we only thought we only had those beautiful creative ideas and and messages and 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 that's where we're traveling back to be, and, and when you trust that, when you trust the divine, when you know that you're always going to be supported, regardless of what's going on out there, just know that you're connected with divine energy, you're connected with divine source. And as we're traveling through these frequencies and these vibrations, and we come up to, you know, um, the fourth dimension like we were talking about this is the falling away now of everything all the third dimension everything just be open mind open and listen and do your own research don't rely on mainstream media or do your own research and follow the path that feels right to you not what everybody else is doing if it feel if it doesn't feel right, don't do it. Don't be pressured into doing anything. This is your body. This is your life. This is where your divine sovereignty comes in. Not being pressured. So focusing on what feels right, and if it feels right, then go ahead. If it doesn't, wait. Just wait. It doesn't matter. You might. You know, you're not saying you no, know, you're just not ready yet until you're ready to make that step, forward step. Don't make it. Sit back, allow everything to fall in place while we're going through these shifts. And when everything falls into place, that will be a firm foundation for us all because we're all finding truly, we're, we're finding ourselves, we're finding we, we are looking really deeply into ourselves and changing things and it brings so much upliftment and you know today spend time thinking about everything going right 
instead of worrying about everything going wrong because straight away you're taking your energy back into a lower dense dimension so bringing it back regardless of what's going on and I know there's lots of people because I'm speaking to lots of people who are really going through challenges and I send my love and healing to each one of you because they're going through really difficult times and that is a lot of people on the planet so we're here first and foremost for our own well-being and then for the well-being of everybody around us we are here to support each other not to go into divide and start because one's got different belief that oh no they're not not they're not spiritual they've just got a different belief they've got a different perception that doesn't make them wrong it doesn't make us right it's just different so when we let go of all that and know that whatever any body does any person does that's their business nothing to do with anybody else we all have our own connection with God and this is in our hearts, it's not out there and then we're not striving to get somewhere, we're actually striving to become the spiritual being that we've come here to be and for the first time since uh, Atlantis, this is our spiritual bodies merging, merging with this body cutting through and, and, and healing all the conditioning, the eons of years of conditioning. So we're, now we're, we are open and this here is um, where the divine energy comes through. And when we get ourselves out of the way and start worrying about what other people think or what they're doing or and we take it back into self, 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 me, 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 me. We go deeper down. It's about, right, what can, what, what can I do that's going to uplift me a bit today? And if it's lying in bed all day, lie in bed. But don't feel guilty about it. Take guilt away from every single thing. These programmings that we have been conditioned to are really deep. And they will, they're definitely coming up because they've got nowhere else to go because the light that we're all bringing through and anchoring in the planet is, is, is lighting up everything. So we're seeing the shadows. But if we go diving into those shadows, we'll get lost in those shadows unless we're aligned and we're taking the light in there. So I'm asking the angels. And like I say, we've got clear and activate. So as we clear out the third dimension and even the fourth one, and we're, we're moving up into the fifth, that's where our higher self resides. Pure love is taking that journey from the head to the heart and opening the heart completely. And when we look into a shadow, don't close it. It's still got to be open because we haven't, that's, whatever anybody is doing whether they go, whether we perceive them as good or not so good that is the soul journey between them and god so activate as we clear now as we're moving up through which is amazing we're clearing and you know we're all evolving we're, we're moving we're having to evolve we're being come we're being pushed out of our comfort zone and you know we're having to come online to do readings and take our businesses online now to you know for our for for our support so it is you know we're shifting all ways of doing things and i've found that when i do readings online and when i do healing it's it's just as good it's just as it's different but for the people who come it's so perfect the angels will make sure that you receive the healing no matter who you listen to or go to as long as you know they're coming from a place of alignment so you know we're all having to move things we're all having to evolve now and it's evolved without stress you know we live in an abundant world i know we're going through the challenges but you sit in your home and you look around and it's not like, you know, 
our um, grandparents and great grandparents that were in wartime, well, we've got it really easy compared to them. Um, and, and it's only sticking up and it's only holding on to our own own divine essence that, that we're going to get through this, not be controlled, manipulated, we listen to what what is coming through from our guides and our angels. So activate, lots of activations going in, lots of downloads. You're going to get things coming through that I need to get this out, I need to talk to somebody, I need to get back online, and I need to share my gifts because these are the activations that are coming through and this we've all incarnated at this time to do this. And the next card is Celestial Gatekeeper. So, you know, we have these galactic masters around us that are here to help us and, and they're 100% light and they're the gatekeepers so whenever you know we get to a certain level we it's almost like we go into um, some lessons and, and challenges and then you know we know we, well, I, 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 I now after all 30 years I know I'm being tested so I'll, I'll, I will go into all my my um, toolbox and use everything from the you know the self-healing crystals um water hope up on up on everything everything that we've learned is for us to use now but not just for ourselves for everybody who's going through this so the celestial gatekeepers are there and when we are in alignment we'll move through each frequency each um dimension so we're being, um, it is about looking at, really going within and really listening to your own advice, not um, giving it and not taking it yourself. And love and light. So love and light, this is at with care. And every kind word, you know, everything that we can do to just help people and show people kindness um, and that they're not alone it, it's it's going to help heal um, and help so many people and you know so listen to your intuition don't be led astray with your head going into over protection whatever you're faced with know that you have got all the power that force, there's a force that's centering earth, more powerful than any of us. So when we are, we, um, we connect with that power, which is unconditional love, then we come back into alignment. And we'll move through any challenges a lot easier. And then when we look back, everything's going to make sense when we look back can't at the moment because of so much is going on but there's going to be a time where we'll look back and we'll understand why everything's had to happen how it how it has and i'm coming to the um goddesses and we have sage and this is quiet time so create a place at home or in your garden if you got a place in your garden and find a place and sit and meditate and really focus on the third dimensional matrix just falling away like sand that's all you need to do give that's releasing it it's not like we have to do anything hard we've come to a level of awareness that now we're being guided to do that to to let go and allow the third dimension matrix to just dissolve and when we go into resistance, that's a contraction going down the birthing canal. When we go into resistance, just take deep breaths and, and visualize it all just, just, just falling away. Because without that, 
just imagine how you would feel without all this worry and everything else. And, but that's the truth of who we are. Everything else is a condition that's been placed on us. So stay in alignment. Call in Archangel Raphael for anybody who is not feeling well because I know there's lots of people not well. Um, and I know it's not a very... Um, it's a very strange virus because um, I've, you know, my clients and um, it, it is, you know, it's there. So if you are going through any kind of, of um, illness that way, herbal teas are amazing. Find herbs that lung worm will help the respiratory system you know and just put um, a teaspoon in your in your your, your tea you know in any herbal tea um lung will, will just help support your lungs so you know and and everything that if we look after mother earth she's gonna look after us there's everything there on you know on mother earth that we need we don't need anything else that you so when we look after her and we start go out into nature and we sit in peace and we um, soak up that beautiful healing energy, we become one. We we we, we that is the the truth of what we're meant to be doing. Not running off to, you know, look for any alternative medicine. But that's up to you anyway. So, but Mother Earth has got everything that we can actually for to heal us okay so i'm asking now for the archangel who's going to be um guiding us and it's archangel ragul so he's coming in to help um relationship harmony whether it's your personal relationship or colleague relationship or neighbors or whatever call archangel ragul in to intervene in any conflict in any relationships and he will give you the courage and strength to to stand and speak your truth but speak your truth from your heart not from any emotion okay so i hope everybody is um well and i hope to see you all soon i really am missing all my group and and my, my clients, you know, get my hands on them. Um, but I'm, I am available for readings online or healings online if anybody wishes to get in touch. Okay, so I'm sending so much love and um, blessings to each one of you. And I know we're strong. There's nothing stronger than love. Love is a force. It's not emotion, it's a force. And it will move things. So I'm sending so much love and healing to anybody who may need it at this time. Thank you for listening and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you.